Good evening. On behalf of the class of 2003, I welcome you this evening to our commencement ceremony. At this time, I would ask that you please stand and remain standing as the senior members of the Chamber Singers perform the national anthem. Shapes and bright stars through the perilous fight. All the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming, and the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof to the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave. Good evening, members of the Board of Education, Dr. Hannum, Mr. Patukas, administrators, faculty, friends, and of course, family. So often I hear how graduation is the beginning of our lives, but I feel our lives have more than already begun. Our thoughts and dreams have always been there, but it is now, it is now that we go out and embrace them. Our thoughts and dreams, Oh, sorry. Life is a gift, the most amazing gift in the world. It can't be bought, and so it shows how insignificant money really is. You see, it is love that makes us, it is love that drives us, and it is love that will let us live in eternity. <clears throat> All our lives, we are taught how to make money. We are taught how to get ahead. But the most important things we are left to learn on our own like being there for someone else or caring for someone else. These are the things that need to be taught. And I believe High Point has shown me, has shown us how to be there and help each other. High Point has guided me on my path, not just in education, but in the life lessons that need to be learned. High Point has taught me to be myself because that is the most important attribute in the world, just to be yourself. So many people change to fit in. And what is the point of being if you cannot be yourself? High Point has given me that chance, has given us the chance to show the world what we are made of and what High Point is all about. They have taught me to shoot for the moon, and if I do not make it, I will fall. But I will fall among the stars. Success is getting up just one more time than you fall. And that is why we are here today, because of the teachers' success, administration's success, the parents' success, and most of all, the students and their success. Before I finish, I would like to leave you with one last thought, and that is, 
Live every day as if it were your last, because you never know what lies ahead. And remember, to live in fear is to have not lived at all. You have just one shot, one opportunity to be the best, to be yourself. Live today as if you were to die tomorrow, and learn today as if you were going to live forever. Thank you, High Point.
Good evening, Board of Education members, Dr. Hannum, Mr. Patukas, administrators, faculty, family, friends, and fellow classmates. <clears throat> Three minutes is hardly enough to describe what we've just done, but then again, four years was hardly ample time to grasp it while we were in the midst of it. I recently set out to figure out any way possible to describe the past four years of High Point Regional High School. Everybody had an opinion on high school. The first philosopher I looked to for guidance was a lyricist named Rick Carey. He chose to call these the best years of our lives. It seems appropriate, and he even wrote a song about it. But Carey is also the person who posed the poignant question, who let the dogs out? So perhaps his opinion is, is not too reliable. Perhaps I needed a person with a little more name recognition, a proven thinker, a deep thinker. In his thoughts, Jack Handy has covered a wide range of topics, and I was most interested in his thoughts on school days, or days in general. Handy states that, I believe you should live each day as if it was your last, which is why I don't have any clean laundry, because come on, who wants to wash laundry on the last day of their lives? Once again, I was touched, but I felt my search for the meaning of high school was headed in the wrong direction. Instead of working my way up the philosophical ladder, perhaps I should climb down. And who better to understand high school than those, those who are surrounded by it constantly? So I set forth in a different direction. The 21st century philosopher known as Mr. Ripley gave this assessment of trivial details in high school. He said, moments never last. Whether they be moments of ecstasy or moments of suffering, they never last. Finally, something of profundity. It is true that high school would have been a little less stressful had we just got over the small things. However, I can't imagine all those small things being for nothing. Every second of high school presents a unique experience that other places in the world cannot offer. Perhaps separately, high school moments are trivial. But together, a big web of moments, well, that's one heck of a repertoire that you can call experience. Think about those moments. Lunch lines, study halls, hallways, hall passes, passing grades, grade A skim milk, guest speakers, motivational speakers, loudspeakers, announcements. Announcements. There's a crazy concept. You can't get anywhere else. Imagine if Katie Cora came on in the morning and instead of talking about foreign affairs, gave you a list of everything you need to do that day, every person you need to see, every meeting you need to attend, and where to find them. High school is unique. Homework, work study, study buddy, that bus driver named buddy, bus passes, past tense, conjugating the preterite. Some of the things I've named I've never experienced, but I don't doubt that eventually I can say a word that's going to trigger an idea, a memory in your head. And high school is full of these brief moments that are part of a whole. So true, moments never last, but they sure don't leave us either. They bring us together, shared experiences. High school cannot be defined by heavy statements from people pontificating about life. High Point Regional High School was, and always will be, you and me. Every day, same time. You want to be in a place where everyone knows your name. The warm confines of High Point Regional High School brought that. Some even chose to expand that base of relationships through co-curricular, extracurricular, and cross-curricular activities. Some chose cross-country, country music television, musicals and dramas, senior circles, senior lounges, senior citizens, proms, junior proms. Murdoch Nichols reminisced that sooner or later, we all discover that the big moments in life are not the advertised ones, not the birthdays, the graduations, the weddings, not the great goals achieved. The real milestones are less prepossessing. <clears throat> they come to the door of memory unannounced, Stray dogs that amble in, sniff around a bit, and simply never leave. Enjoy these moments. Perhaps you may not have thought about high school, you might have thought much of it while you were here, but by all means, no. It is not too late to enjoy these last few hours and every second that strikes you as you look back and then get ready to move forward. Thank you very much.
Good evening, members of the Board of Education, Dr. Hannum, Mr. Platukas, faculty, staff, family, friends, and members of the class of 2003. First and foremost, on behalf of my fellow classmates and myself, I would like to take this opportunity to thank some very special people. The people that have made a difference in our lives, those that made us look inside ourselves and helped us grow into the young women and men we are today, and therefore, the young women and men of the future. To teach is to touch a life forever. Thank you teachers and advisors for your continued wisdom and inspiration. You have shared with us the knowledge of academics, but some lessons go beyond what we can read and learn in a textbook. You taught the lessons that truly prove the measure of our minds, but more important, you taught us the lessons that prove the measure of our hearts. You have shared with us the knowledge of life. Thank you to our parents and family members. You have been there every step of the way, sharing our accomplishments and defeats. Thank you for the advice you give, even when we do not seem so willing to receive it. Thank you for the support, care, and love. You believe in us always, sometimes even more than we believe in ourselves. We love you all. Fellow classmates, the day is finally here. The finish line is in sight, and we can hear the crowd roaring. Mixed emotions run through us. Feelings of excitement and apprehension, happiness and sorrow. For tonight, we are closing one door and opening another, stepping over the threshold and into a new beginning. Our future holds many opportunities and experiences, some successes and some failures, but we know that is what life is about. Marie Curie once said, Life is not easy for any of us, but what of that? We must have perseverance and above all confidence in ourselves. We must believe that we are gifted for something and that this thing, at whatever cost, must be attained. Marie's Curie's words are echoed in the story entitled The Starfish. Once upon a time, there was a wise man who used to go to the ocean to do his writing. He had a habit of walking on the beach before he began his work. One day, he was walking along the shore. As he looked down the beach, he saw a human figure moving like a dancer. He smiled to himself to think of someone who would dance to the day. As he got closer, he saw that it was a young man, and the young man wasn't dancing, but instead he was reaching down to the shore, picking up something, and very gently tossing it into the ocean. As he got closer, he called out, Good morning, what are you doing? The young man paused, looked up, and replied, throwing starfish into the ocean. I guess I should have asked, why are you throwing starfish into the ocean? The sun is up and the tide is going out, and if I don't throw them in, they'll die. But young man, don't you realize that there are miles and miles of beach and starfish all along it? You can't possibly make a difference. The young man listened politely, then bent down, picked another starfish, and threw it into the sea, past the breaking waves, and said, it made a difference for that one. There is something in us that makes us very special. We have all been gifted with the ability to make a difference. We need to become aware of the gift in order to shape the future. Success lives in all of us. Success is knowing your purpose in life, finding your vision, and using it to leave behind something that will help others. We must, as the story says, find our starfish. Members of the class of 2003, in all you do, I wish you happiness and success. Please do not lose sight of what true success really is. Set no limits. Dream every day. Love life. Dare to live. Leave something worth leaving behind. In conclusion, I pass these words of advice that were once given to me. Play with no fear. Fear distracts you. It diverts your energy. Use your energy and power for the possibilities that lie ahead, for the opportunities that surround you, and that will enable you to make a difference. Thank you. Dr. Hannum, Mr. Morrow, Mrs. Lestarza, Mr. Hull, school board members, staff, 
class advisors, family, friends, and graduating seniors. I would like to welcome you on this mem memorable occasion. I have the honor this evening to present the members of the class of 2003 and the many scholarships that are made possible through the generosity of our community organizations and in some cases, individuals who are friends of High Point. Before I begin with the scholarship presentations, I want to call your attention to certain members of the class of 2003. These individuals, through, their, through either their academic and or leadership roles at High Point, had the honor to lead their class into the stadium this evening. These individuals are Callie DePippo, the class valedictorian, <laughs> Maria Edelman, the salutatorian, President of the Student Council, Anthony Hawley, and President of the Class of 2003, Jessica Solly. Please stand. As I read the names, please stand. A, signif a significant number of class members wear their regalia, regalia that signifies their membership in the National Honor Society. These students are Maria Edelman, Amanda Ayers, Amanda Barrett, Jean Marie Carroll, Rebecca Chu, <laughs> Callie DePippo, Robert Grau, Tiffany Heineman, Kelly Kessler, Bradford Perry, Nicole Rockle, Daniel Ramirez, Curtis Ray, Scott Shelton, Thomas Spangenberg, Nicole Tracy, Darren Yasinowitz, and Kayla Vandergroof. Other regalia that adorns the neck of some of the members of the class signifies their membership in one of the foreign language honor societies. On Monday evening, we presented many awards and distinctions to members of this graduating class. The awards are listed in your program, and I would like to highlight some of them this evening. Each individual department at High Point Regional High School has the opportunity to present a graduating senior with a special recognition for exemplary work during the last four years. The students so honored included Art, Amanda Barrett, Business Technology, Jessica Keegan, English, Paul Anthony Hawley, Home and Family Studies, Krista DeLuca, Engineering and Industrial Technology, Scott Baker, Mathematics, Brittany Shelton. Music, Jenna Havilland. Physical Education, Curtis Ray. Science, Thomas Spangenberg. Social Studies, Paul Anthony Hawley. And in World Languages, Anthony P Andrew Paz. Other students were recognized for outstanding contributions and their achievements while at High Point Regional. Tom Spangenberg represented High Point as the Sussex County Scholar Athlete. Megan Radimer and Scott Clausen were honored as outstanding athletes. The Superintendent's Cup went to Curtis Ray, and also the Student Council Citizenship Award went to Curtis Ray. All the members of the class of 2003 deserve our applause for their individual and collective accomplishments. Please join me in saluting these outstanding <laughs> members. Please be seated. It is now my privilege to present those scholarships which have been provided through the generosity of local families and org organizations. As you can see in the program, the monies that go to the members of the class of 2003 exceeded $53,000. It is this type of commitment that allows our students to achieve their educational goals. I thank you for your effort and commend you for the time and energy necessary to make these scholarships a reality. I would also ask that you hold your applause until all scholarship winners have been announced. When your name is, is uh, read, please rise. The American Legion Post 213 Sussex presents three scholarships this year. The recipient of a $1,000 award is presented to Randy Smolin Howe. Two scholarships of $500 each are awarded to Alicia Barros and Catherine Pomeroy. The Bank of New York continues as a contributor to our scholarship program by presenting $250 to a senior who plans a career in business or finance. It is presented this evening to Brian Groves. The Barbara J. Smith Memorial Scholarship is in the amount of $1,000. Barbara was a speech language teacher for 29 years in the Sussex Wanish School District. She was a dedicated, caring teacher and a person who had a great respect for the staff and programs at High Point Regional. Her family presents the scholarship to a young lady who will pursue a, d a degree in education, Lori Wasalius. The Beamerville Fire Company Number 1 Wanage is presenting three scholarships this evening in the amount of $150. The recipients are Joe Morocco, Mike Festa, and Jeff Cron. The Beamerville Fire Department Auxiliary also presents a scholarship in the amount of $500. They have selected Kayla Conklin as the recipient. The Donadio family provided, provides an annual scholarship in memory of their son or brother Brad, who graduated from High Point in 1981, but was killed in an accident a short time later. This year, the family will present two awards for $1,000 
to Jessica Solly and Caroline Cucinata. The Branchville Businessmen's Club participates in our scholarship program through their annual award. This year they have selected Kayla Vandergroof to receive their $750 scholarship. The Branchville Hose Company annually awards a scholarship. This year Brittany Shelton and Jessica Keegan are receiving uh, $250 each. The Branchville Rotary Club is presenting two $1,000 scholarships this year. They have selected outstanding students from their membership area to receive them. The recipients are Brittany Shelton and Aaron Goldberg. Country Insurance Associates provides two $500 scholarships for students who, who will pursue their education in a technical field. They, they are presented this evening to Travis Schilling and Brett Cooper. This year there are two DEC of Merit scholarships being presented in the amount of $750 each. The recipients are Richard Lyons and Jessica Solly. The Dr. Bergman Memorial Scholarship is presented by the Kiwanis Club of Sussex. Two seniors who will enter the medical, two, two seniors who will enter the medical field will, will receive this award. The $500 scholarships go to Raman Bala and Jean Marie Carroll. The Dorothy Richards Memorial Scholarship is given by the Sussex Women's Club. This $400 scholarship goes to Patric Patricia Boyce. Dunn's Bus Service contributes a $500 scholarship annually to a member of the graduating class and their selection to receive this award is Curtis Ray. Dunn Tours Incorporated also provides funds for a $500 scholarship and it is presented this evening to Alicia Barros. The Edgar Philby Memorial Scholarship in the amount of $300 is being given to Mike Festa. The Florence Bauer Memorial Scholarship was established by her family following Mrs. Bauer's death. Following the ceremony, it will be presented by her son and our colleague, Mr. William Bauer. It is in the amount of $750 and is presented to Anthony Hawley. The Francis Courtright Memorial Scholarship is presented by the Sussex Women's Club in memory of their longtime member and friend, Francis Courtright. The scholarship is in the amount of $600 and it is awarded this evening to Emily Cassell. The Frank Shukalo Memorial Scholarship is provided by the Kittatinny Lions Club in his memory. It is in the amount of $500 and it is presented to Emily Pence. The Frankfurt Township Educational Association is presenting three $500 scholarships. They recognize students who are graduates of Frankfurt Township School System and they were exemplary students here at High Point. Those selected are Megan Radimer, Jessica Keegan, and Scott Clausen. The Frankfurt Township Parent Teacher Association also recognizes four students who are graduates of their school and who have been outstanding students at High Point. Receiving $500 each this evening are Scott Shelton, Aaron Goldberg, Amanda Ayers, and Michael Festa. The Franklin Mutual Insurance, or the Frank, Franklin Mutual Insurance Scholarship Foundation has generally participated in our scholarship program for a number of years. They provide two scholarships in the amount of $4,000, payable in installments of $1,000 each for four years. The first is in memory of Jesse R. Harris, and it is being presented to Maria Edelman. The second is in memory of John Larson. It is being presented to Callie DePippo. The Harry Councilman Memorial Scholarship is for $500 and it was created in loving memory of Mr. Councilman who passed away a few years ago. Harry was an outstanding teacher, coach, and supervisor at High Point Regional High School. The recipient of this award is Eric Zuckerman. Haven's Bus Service annually provides funds for a scholarship for a graduating senior. Their $500 scholarship is presented this evening to Jesse Carollo. The High Point administrators provide a scholarship to a deserving member of the senior class. It is in the amount of $600 and it is being presented to Anthony Hawley. The High Point Educational Association provides a $1,000 scholarship to a student who will pursue a career in education. And they are pleased to present it today to Danielle Speed. The High Point Soccer Club presents two scholarships this evening, each in the amount of $200. These students have been outstanding participants in that soccer program. The, those selected are Mariel Collard and Ryan Pelt. The Hol Holbert Award for Performing Arts is presented annually by the Holbert family to an individual who was outstanding in our theater program. $400 is being awarded to Emily Pence. The Keith Burns Memorial Scholarship is being presented in the amount of $1,000. Keith was a High Point graduate who lost his life in the World Trade Center tragedy. The recipient of the award is Danielle Zill. The Keith Turner Memorial Scholarship was established by his family following his untimely death in an automobile accident. Keith graduated from High Point in 1989 and his family is presenting $500 in, in his memory to Tom Perry. The Kiwanis Club of Sussex is very pleased to present eight scholarships this year. Selected to receive these scholarships of $500 each are Nicole Tracy, Randy Smolenhow, Rob Vesper, 
Eric Zuckerman, Heather Malone, Curtis Ray, Delaney Ayers, and Christina Vanderberg. The Lafayette Township Parent Teachers Association recognizes students who are graduates of Lafayette School by providing three scholarships in the amount of $500 each. They are given this evening to Jenna Haviland, Emily Stumpf, and Dee Rivera. The Lakeland State Bank annually presents a scholarship to a member of the graduating class who has excelled in high school. This award is in the amount of $1,500 and is being presented this evening to Amanda Barrett. The Maria Grande Memorial Scholarship has been established by, by Mrs. Carol Lestarza and her family. Mrs. Lestarza is our assistant principal and the scholarship is in memory of her mother. It is in the amount of $1,000 and I am pleased to present it to David Lestarza in me memory of, her grandmother, of his grandmother. Friends and family of Mark McKeeby, a High Point graduate who succumbed to illness at an early age, presents a $250 scholarship in his memory. The recipient is Bruce Russell. The family of per Perry Gorner offers a $1,000 scholarship to a graduating senior. Perry was a 1999 graduate at High Point Regional High School whose life was cut tragically short by an automobile accident. The scholarship goes to Heather Schultz. As a longtime friend and supporter of High Point Regional High School, Selective Insurance Company annually provides a scholarship to a top academic student whose parent is employed there. Today, the $1,000 scholarship goes to Nicole Rockle. The Sussex Bank recognizes academic achievement and athletic talent on a monthly basis at sev several local high schools. At the conclusion of each year, the student with the highest academic average is selected to receive the $500 scholarship. The winner for, this, for the year 2003 is Tiffany Heineman. The Sussex Elks Ladies Auxiliary is participating in our scholarship program this year and presents a $250 award to Ellen McGovern. Sussex Parent Teachers Association provides two scholarships of $500 each to graduates of their school who have continued exemplary work here at High Point. These students are Kelly Kessler and Amanda Barrett. Sussex Wanage Girls Softball League presents two scholarships this evening, both in the amount of $250. These young ladies have excelled in their, in their softball program. The recipients are Kayla Vandergroof and Kristen Shaw. Two $400 scholarships are being presented this evening by the Sussex Women's Club. They are pleased to announce the selection of the following women from the Sussex Wanage area. Heather Schultz and Kathleen Creighton. The Sussex Wanage Educational Association annually provides two $500 scholarships in memory of deceased family members. The students selected are from Sussex Wanage area and have been exemplary both in elementary and high school. They are Ryan Pelt and Catherine Pomeroy. Ted Dunn Incorporated offers a scholarship this evening. It is in the amount of $500 and is being presented to Megan Radimer. Teresa Batafrano graduated from High Point in 1979, but lost her battle with cancer less than a year later. We pause to remember her each year at our Spring Sports Awards program and at our graduation ceremony. When her family presents a check for a scholarship in her memory, it is in the amount of $450, and it is being presented to Jennifer Dudiak. The firm of Vanderhoevel and Fountain annually provide a $500 scholarship to a member of the graduating class. They have selected as their recipient Robert Grau. The Walk Hill Valley Rotary Club annually selects a student from their membership area who's maintained a high academic average and who's made positive contributions to the overall school climate. The recipient of their $1,000 scholarship is Aaron Panner. The Wanage Excavating Company also participates in our scholarship program and this year presents five $250 scholarships to young students with an outstanding educational record. The recipients are Mike Festa, Kelly DePippo, Robert Grau, Darren Yusinowitz, and Sonia Lucy, Luisi. The members of the Wildcat Booster Club lend their support to the athletes of High Point in many ways during the course of each school year. They also contribute generously to our scholarship program and recognizing today five students who will each receive $500. They are Tom Spangenberg, Jessica Solly, Ryan Pelt, Megan Radimer, and Kayla Vandergroof. The William Storms Memorial Scholarship is given by the Sussex Fire Department and the First Aid Squad. Mrs. Amanda Ayers is a $500 recipient. Christina Vanderberg will receive a $100 bond and Kenneth Whalen will receive a $50 bond. The class of 2003 will have received a total of $657,000 in both aid and scholarships. Congratulations to the class of 2003. I would,
quite an accomplishment. I would like to call your attention to a number of local or county scholarships that were presented prior to today's program. They are listed in your program. Ladies and gentlemen, that concludes our presentation of scholarships being announced this evening. At the end of the commencement exercises, there will be a reception honoring scholarship donors and recipients and their families in the school library. Would you join me now in a round of applause to both the donors who have provided the funds and the students who have been selected. Bravo. Please be seated. Education, parents, grandparents, brothers, sisters, friends, guests, staff members, and graduates. Good evening and welcome to our celebration in the honor of the class of 2003. Graduates, congratulations on your academic achievements and on the friendships you have developed while here at High Point Regional High School. Both will hopefully continue to enrich your lives through the years. There's a saying that teachers and parents open the doors, but students must enter by themselves. Graduates, I believe you are on the threshold of a new door and you're well prepared to enter by yourself. But that is still not to say that we won't miss you. The adults in your life have been trying their best to prepare you for a happy and productive life. I know there have probably been some times in the past four years when you wished we hadn't tried so hard. But please forgive us for that because we do want so much for you to be happy. We want very much for you to achieve a measure of success. Not only have we exposed you to the intellectual knowledge whereby you can realize your success, but we've also tried to pass along some things we found to be truths in our own lives. One thing is certain, in the words of Beverly Sills, you may be disappointed if you fail, but you're doomed if you don't try. I believe we are fortunate when we have people in our lives who don't necessarily crack a whip, but who set high standards and high expectations that force us to achieve at the top of our game. I believe people who hold high expectations and accept nothing less than your best are some of the most important people in your life. I believe those people are your parents and your teachers. Tonight is your night, graduates. However, it's your parents' and your teachers' night also. I believe you need to take a moment to pay tribute to those people who have stood by you, who have challenged you, who have taught you that it's never too late to become the person you want to be, who picked you up when you were down, who guided and inspired you for the last four years. I believe you need to take a moment to thank your parents and your teachers with a round of applause. Graduates, over the last two years, I've had the good fortune of watching you grow up, and most of you have done just that. Now, there might be one or two who still need a little work, but we're getting there. My advice can be found in the words and thoughts of a very special person as she faced the biggest challenge of her life. Irma Bombeck wrote a piece entitled, If I Had My Life to Live Over. In it, she wrote, Stop Sweating the Small Stuff. Don't worry about who doesn't like you, who has more, or who's doing what. Instead, let's cherish the relationships we have with those who do love us. Let's think about what we have and what we're doing each day to promote ourselves mentally, physically, emotionally, as well as spiritually. Life is too short to let it pass you by. Graduates, my advice is very simple. Work hard and strive to be the best that you can be. Be caring. Be sensitive to others and be kind. Collectively, you've had a remarkable year. There's an old saying that no one can go back and start a new beginning. But anyone can start today and make a new ending. It's all about your choices. In The Matrix Reloaded, the Oracle told Neo, you knew this was coming, right? The Oracle told Neo, you can't see past the things that you don't understand. Then at the end of the movie, Neo had to choose between the intellectual game or hope. He wisely chose hope. At the end of the last Harry Potter movie, Dumbledore calls Harry into his study and he says, it's our choices that show what we really are, far more than our abilities. What's important to you now as you face your future is what has been important all along. 
family, friends, relationships, and making the right choices. In conclusion, graduates, I ask that you always maintain a positive mental attitude, always have hope and vision, be passionate about your goals, focus on what you have and not what you don't have, encourage, guide, help others, be a dreamer and a risk taker, and whatever happens, never ever give up. In the words of Michael Jordan, obstacles don't have to stop you. If you run into a wall, don't turn around and give up. Figure out how to climb it, go through it, or work around it. Graduates, you're about to enter a new phase of your life. I'm proud of your accomplishments, and I'm confident in your ability to make the right choices. Choices that will allow you to take it to another level where you will be even better. A better student, a better leader, a better person, and a better friend. In the words of Leon Womack, when you get the choice to sit it out or dance, I hope you dance. Best of luck. I would like to introduce our board president, Mr. Larry Morrow. Good evening, and welcome to the graduation of the class of 2003. On behalf of the Board of Education, I would like to congratulate each of the graduates for what you have achieved. I would like to take this opportunity to thank the mothers and fathers, our members of the community, and the, the entire staff of High Point Regional High School who, working together, have made this day possible. Our school owes a special debt of gratitude to the parents and community members who have supported our programs. Their steadfast trust has allowed the school to elevate the quality of your education, and for that, we are all grateful. For four years, we have challenged you academically, athletically, and socially to be the very best that you can be. And for four years, you met that challenge. You may think at times we were a little too tough, but being tough made you extend your reach and do things that even you may not have realized you could do. You have matured physically, emotionally, and intellectually during your time at High Point, and you are now prepared to experience greater opportunities. Today marks the end of an important chapter in your life and the beginning of the next. The happiness and relief that comes from graduating high school is tempered by an element of uncertainty. From this day and this place, some of you will go on to college and others will begin pursuing careers. Some will choose a life outside of this county and some will remain. But the common thread is that all of you will have entirely different responsibilities and an entirely a different perspective on life. The ties that are bound you to your family will loosen, friendships will change, and you will become more independent. However, it is your self-determination that will accelerate your transition into adulthood as you find your place in this world. But no matter what path you choose to travel, the most important point for you to always remember is that you can become whatever you want to become. What your mind can imagine, you can achieve. And the only limits that you will face are the limits that you place on yourself. Every one of you can succeed, and you will succeed, because we have given you the knowledge and the ability to succeed. And you have graduated from an outstanding high school where your parents, your teachers, your administrators, and your community have worked together to provide the best learning experience in America. Oliver Wendell Holmes once said, I find the great thing in this world is not so much where we stand as, as in what direction we are moving. We must sail sometimes with the wind and sometimes against it, but we must sail and not drift nor lie at anchor. And so my friends, enjoy this moment and this day and go forward with confidence in yourself. Go forward with confidence in your future and go forward with confidence in your country. God bless you and God bless America. Thank you very much. Good evening, everyone. We've spent 720 days in high school together, and though we sometimes never thought it would, this evening it all comes to an end. In a few moments, we, the students of the class of 2003, will be receiving our diplomas after four years and much hard work. And obviously, both the students and those of you in the audience are very excited for this event. But as much as this is a time for celebration, it is also an occasion that deserves our utmost respect and attention. While the enthusiasm of the audience is greatly appreciated, we would like this commencement to be marked by the dignity it deserves as well. That's why we are asking you to please hold all applause until every student has received his or her diploma so that each graduate's name can be clearly heard. On behalf of the class of 2003, we thank you for your cooperation. Please enjoy.
Dr. Hannum, I now certify that the members of the class of 2003 have completed the requirements established by the High Point Regional High School Board of Education and the New Jersey State Department of Education and are therefore eligible to receive their high school diplomas. To the class of 2003, I congratulate you and wish you health, happiness, and Godspeed. Okay, you guys ready? Let's go. Jessica Joan Solly. Christine Leanne Faherty. Edward Kosh. Heather Chris Schultz. Michael Anthony Festa. Patricia Mary Claire Boyce. Douglas Andrew Bradfield. Kristen Ann Veltry. Kyle Travis Haggerty. Gina Marie Ezzo. Evan John Dijon Batista. Brittany Colleen Shelton. Joseph Michael White. Noel Louise Dombowski. Freddie Joseph Coppolino. Tiffany Lee Heineman. Brian James Van Vliet. Jessica Lynn Hagedorn. James Michael Sorensen. Dana Lee Sanford. Christopher Joseph Malone Clapp. Lauren Elizabeth Caprio. Roland Curtis Harris. Alicia Zajak. Maria Kirsten Ottoman. Paul Anthony Holly. Shannon Fitzpatrick. Michael Brady, Amanda Marie Barrett, Raman Bala, Carly Joel Earl, <laughs> Timothy Douglas Braun, Juliana Marie Manzione, Matthew David Wolfinger, <laughs> Megan Elizabeth Walker, Louis Patrick Delizia the third. Sarah Stelling. John K. Skidmore. Marissa Ann Bortone. Brian Mitchell Kopeck. April Rose Kelly. Josh Flores. Jean Marie Plando Carroll. Stephen Joseph Wilson. Lisa Marie Pagano, Sean Mullen, D. Rivera, Matthew John Casaletto, Nicole Ann Rockle, Callie Meredith DePippo. Alexander Joshua Torres. Ellen Teresa McGovern. Anthony James Ianella. April Danielle Voorhees. David Matthew Freestone. Emily Lauren Pence. Robert Manning. Catherine Amy Pomeroy. Eric Salveson. Stacy Rice, Danny J. Croc, Amanda Lynn Cosgrove, Sean Lennon, Christine Ashley Valdez, Ryan Eagles, 
Danielle Lanzalotti, Bradford Kirk Perry, Jenna Elizabeth Havlin, Daniel Ramirez, Nicole Nazaro, David Blanchard, Jessica May Keegan, Mo Zindaki, Crystal Nell Fitz, White Mike Kadala, Robert Joseph Vesper, Laura Kathleen Imperato, Ryan Austin Pelt, Justine Marie Pecorello, Thomas Merrill, Melanie Therese Rule, Brian Witzig, Marilyn Elizabeth McGuire, Joseph Michael Morocco Jr., Emily Jane Sabo, Curtis Ari Ray, Seema Dimmer, David R. Lestarza Jr., Sherry J. Boyle, Joseph Anthony DuPont, Caroline Elizabeth Cucinata, Jordan Wentworth Race, Danielle Rose Speed, Matthew Charles Solly, Amy Alyssa Waslowski, Ty Clayton Sheldon, Carrie Terracino, Dan Negron, Alexandra T. Kleinkopf, Matthew John Hardy, Stacy Eileen Van Hine, Ronald Floridia, Delaney Maureen Ayers, Chris Decker, Jesse Ray Carolla, Cosmos Michael Themalakis, <coughs> Lisa Ward, Michael Curtis Wolfinger, Emily Elizabeth Stump, Mark Eric Kufis, <coughs> Carrie Ann Amara Dorans, Ronald Kyle Scouten, Randy Lynn Howe, Jim Adam Robertson, <coughs> Heather Marie Malone, Chris Simpson, Kimberly Lynn Youngling, Matthew Southard, Adelaine Christine Zabriskie, Brian Hundley, Kristen Marie Shaw, Daniel Adam Bankendorf, Sarah Jeanette Henson, Joseph Anthony Festa, Debrina Danielle Little. <clears throat> Rachel Mary Quarter. Ken Whalen. Shannon Kathleen Jubin. Eric Allen Risley. Rebecca Jean Chu. Logan Blake Tannis. Elise de Blasio. Dominic Michael Adesso, Amy Lynn Hardcastle, David Michael DeSala, Courtly Melissa Hull, Scott Allen Baker, Candace Johansson, Eric Jordan, Melissa Liu, Ted James Zagleski. Lori Allison Wasilius, Adam Lane Wilson, 
Danielle Sill. Frank Kitchell, Jr. Alicia May Barrios. Brian Chase. Lauren Elizabeth Kushar. Eric Caldwell. Kathleen Creighton. Joshua David Reed. Jamie Marie Amy. Stephen Salvador. Faith Ann Corcoran. <coughs> Brian Campbell. Veronica Elizabeth Yermel. Gary John Greiner. Mary Beth Verba. Thomas Michael Spangenberg. Marielle Elaine Collard. Dave Sudol. Jennifer Lynn Dudiak. Scott Stephen Clausen. Emily Jean Cassell. Andrew Clark Jr. Carissa Marie Redder. Christopher Shortway. Jennifer Campbell. Anthony George Punch. Rebecca Lynn Pollock. Robert Matthew Grau. Teresa Ann Izzo. Barry A. Glass. Kayla Marie Conklin. David Christopher Collison. Nicholas Byra. Nicole Christine Tracy. Thomas James Perry. Brielle Marie Thompson. Brian Evans. Megan Joy Weber. Kenneth W. Farber. Kelly Lynn Kessler. Gregory Patrick Whetstone. Haley Marie Kinder. Vincent Frank Sinall. Leah Marie Campbell. Thomas Christopher Decker. Aaron Marie Goldberg. Brett Thomas Cooper. Danielle Marie Amato. Scott William Shelton. Amanda Jane Ayers. Brian Patrick Clark. Sarah Louise Manning. Bruce Allen Russell. Sonia Marie Louise. Patrick James Corbett. Stephanie Saddleberger. Peter Joseph Kolb. Christopher Gleeger Radonovich. J. Thomas Current. Travis John Schilling. William Seth Carpenter. Alexander Christian Eddings. Joe Kraus. Robert Gordon Peterson. Darren Yusinowitz. Robert J. Birdsall. Michael Charles Wilson. Matthew Joseph Orris. Paul Joseph Ford. Dennis Anthony Petrullo, Jr. Marissa Beth Meisner. Jeremy Head. 
Amber Elizabeth Wood. Scott Andrew Anthony Melanson. Juliette Renee Cronin. Andre Wolf Pauza. Kristen Nicole Monk. David Bernard Libby. Kayla Elizabeth Vandergroof. Brian Matthew Groves. Gavin Matthew Gawecki. Andrew Angus Giacchino. James Michael Gould. Alex Vladichak Ludashevsky. Troy Martin Hamill. Richard Eugene Lines. David Anthony Camarado II. Philip Han Chung. Alexander Marcus Adrian. Eric Rosen Zuckerman. Melissa Lynn Tonsick. Jeffrey Albert Crone. Brian M. Repsher. Aaron Lynn Panner. Son William Bigley. Megan Faith Radimer. Taylor Thomas Hingston. Krista Marie DeLuca. Joe Nazario. Katie Karina Lewis. Brian Orris. Sarah Marie Feely. Presentation. We now have a presentation by the senior choral group.
Okay, guys, get them going. Go. Go.